what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about three ways to take your power back from the narcissist and set boundaries but most importantly these three things you need to absolutely have control of emotional control of for yourself so that the narcissist won't ever feel overpowered with you because one thing that they can pretty much stand on is knowing that if they can get to you emotionally then they got you if they can get you to believe what they put in your head you know then they got you and that is where you you take your power back and knowing that you know you're in control of your own emotions it, it basically comes down to that it basically comes down to your happiness your sadness and the way you receive information from them <clears throat> because their goal is to make you feel a way once they tell you certain things notice a lot of times when a narcissist they tell you something in hopes to make you give off a certain reaction and it, the way that we respond to things you know it gives them power over knowing that they can get to us so again the three things are your happiness your sadness and the way you respond to the information they give you you know because narcissists they get a thrill they get good supply off of your response they pretty much depend on it your response depends on the way they feel the narcissist puts you responsible for their feelings but at the same time it's not always just happy feelings happy thoughts and good you know good spirits that keeps them high it could also be your sadness they thrive off you know knowing that they can make you feel away now sometimes they can't handle your sadness because they were expecting you to be you know give them a high because they're feeling down when they're feeling down from a lack of supply when they're feeling low spirited from a lack of supply you know they depend on you to make them feel better they need you as they pick me up and when you're not a hundred percent high spirited yourself how are you going to make them feel a certain way so see they they really do depend on you to uh give them certain supply you know your happiness your sadness and when they give you information that information can be bad news to something you were expecting to be some good news for you you know they're they're the ones who want to tell you the bad news because it makes them feel good knowing they have that kind of control over you uh by telling you something that they know that you don't want to hear you know um, I want to get deeper into how narcissists let me see I got like five more minutes before I have to get inside it's 5 30 in the morning y'all but here's an example the narcissist um The thing about it is they, you know, they do this thing to where they cause so much damage till they forget how much damage that they've caused, but you don't forget. And the thing about it is, you know, they have their day, you know, to when they have to answer to everything they've done to hurt you. Just like all of us have our day to go before God and answer to everything. 
But the narcissist thinks that, oh, because if they got the kind of power to make you feel a certain way, you know, they could blow things over and it, and it didn't happen. In their mind, it didn't happen <clears throat> if they could make you forget about it, you know. But the thing is, you got to look at it like this. They may not get caught in the moment, but they will have to answer to it eventually. And as long as you just keep that in mind, it may make you feel better. It all depends on the extent of the damage that they've done to you or what they have attempted to do to you. You know, it all depends on the individual who had to deal with the narcissist. But the thing about it is they may not get caught right away, but they're going to have to answer to it eventually. It's going to come back up. It's not going for good. You know, and they expect you to just put it out of your mind because they have. Narcissists love for you to just get over things if, because they feel like they have that kind of power to make you just forget and move on. You know, but the thing is, they never change. But they expect you to just change the way you, you see things, the way you judge them. You know, they're not fair people. Um... They're, on, they're one sided people. Everything has to be according to how things make them feel. They never consider your feelings, so they, they just don't care. But the thing is, those three things you have to take back from the narcissist in order to really move on and begin to heal and knowing that, wow, they never really had no power over me unless I gave them that kind of power you know they never really had me i gave them that so you know it was fun while it lasted but it's over now you have to let them know that not verbally you got to show them better than you can tell them and just slowly back away from them cut them off slowly and um they'll pick up on it because they won't feel you anymore see they were able to to Go off of your emotions, your happiness, your sadness, and the way they deliver news to you. They sit back and wait on reactions from you. They depend on your reactions to be a certain way. And for the longest time, you gave that to them. But no more. Now that that has come to an end, you know, they have to understand that they can't do nothing about it but accept it. You know? And they can't, because they don't have no power over you. They never have. They can try, but now that you know the type of games that they play, you're going to always be on top of it. On top of it. And you're not going to let them get to you. So see, you know, those are the things to keep in mind. Those three things. Take away your, take away, you know, that power from them. Of knowing that they can make you happy, sad, or they could get a certain reaction out of you. Now, a quick example of that is, because I gotta go in in two minutes. A quick example of that is, a narcissist, they like to make you think that they've got so much power over a false narrative they've created. That now they want you to believe that if you don't become apologetic, apologetic to Whatever the situation is, you know, things are going to continue to get worse for you. They want you to feel bad. And it's all about what you receive from them, what you believe. They need you to believe this false narrative in order for them to keep their power over you. And I'm going to go deeper into what I'm talking about. But I'm going to have to make a separate video because I got to get into work now. But it's all about taking back that power you know of knowing that they never really had control over you you're in control of your happiness and your sadness and the way you respond to things now certain things are out of your control when they have such a strong siding with them and when you stand alone and you know certain battles are hard to fight when you're doing it alone in the physical but you know, God got your back in the spiritual. So 
either way it goes you're gonna come out on top even if it doesn't feel like it in that moment it's hard it is hard to deal with that it's hard to feel alone and fighting a battle and you don't understand why is this even happening to you it's a difficult place to be in you know but again i'm gonna have to do a separate video to get deeper into you know giving y'all a better example of the narcissist's power over you only when you allow them to have it and the, the response they expect from you when you give them certain responses how that keeps them in power it all depends on how you receive information from them i'll be back with another video talk to y'all later